Parents of a 15-month-old from Phoenix, Arizona, were concerned when their toddler, who was tucked in in the bedroom, doors closed, well, the toddler was wandering around the house at night. Hmm, dilemma. So mom and dad set up cameras, and now we get to find out why. I mean, it's it's pretty remarkable because even though as a mom, like I feel like there's so many levels of wrong in terms of danger to the oh, child yes. and the doorknobs and the stairs and all the hazards with electrical outlets and the thing this kid could get into. This is just adorable. I mean, I mean we knew that as you, you watch it too, if dogs could talk, the dogs literally going like, hey, wake up, wake up, come with us, come with us. And then they went back in, no, 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 we're ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And what? Everyone's so excited. We've heard of the phrase scared stiff, but this dog, CeeLo, on his vet's exam table in Arizona is living proof it can happen. So check this out. CeeLo's owner, Joshua, says, this behavior is typical as his dog is scared as hell every single time he has to go see the vet. That's impressive. That, it, uh, that's that's like a mime. That's impressive. <laughs> that's unreal. Wow. If you, Are you sure that dog's not stuffed? How is that? That's unbelievable. And that's involuntary, Arvin? Yes. Aww. And uh, this you, is not normal because I've never <laughs> I've never seen this happen you before. That <laughs> I've never seen that. But the first time I saw it, I was just like, well two things. I was like, this dog's got talent. And this is kind of like a yeah. pointer dog, right? Po and I thought he might be a little outdated. I was like, dude, the, the mannequin challenge is not trending anymore. I'm like, I'm like let that go. How does yoga help these dogs? Um, it is for real. It's been for real for a few months now. Um, it's been a great way for pets and their owners to get together and socialize. <laughs> and <laughs> I choreographed the classes um, so that we're doing a yoga pose and the dogs are doing a yoga pose together and it's very hands-on and interactive. We get them in their little prayer pose and it's just so great to see them relax with their owners and they feel good because they're stretching and we feel good because we're stretching and it's a great and gentle way for owners to be able to feel if their dogs have arthritis or if they're a little sore in some joints or not as flexible in some joints. But Honestly, most of all, the best part is that we have an opportunity to spend quality time with our companions, giggle it out, de-stress, and give our animals that undivided attention that they look forward to all day. When man's best friend is in need of legal advice, where should they go? The doctor's dog court. Yeah. That's where. <laughs> So our first dog case is R-U-F-F, -F, Ruff. A Florida dog owner recently dropped her golden doodle Lola off at a doggy spa for some pampering, paid $150 for some teeth cleaning, a buzz cut, and a nail trim, but that's not what she got. When she picked Lola up nine hours later, she said her dog looked like a clown. Lola's eyebrows and tail were dyed neon green. Her ears were dyed pink, and her nails weren't even trimmed. Not only that, she says the pup left with an infection that sent her straight to the vet. Aww. Judge Mary. Whoa. That is just so sad. Um, you know, the unfortunate thing in our law is we, we recognize animals as personal property. So, you know, criminally, well, it could be a crime, but for sure it's kind of a malicious destruction of personal property. They've destroyed this dog, and, and I would give her damages in a second for it. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women in the U.S., according to the CDC. But could a furry friend help you stay heart healthy? That's right. Puppies, <laughs> dogs. 
Adopting dogs. Recent research suggests that having a dog might boost a single person's lifespan. A study in Sweden tracked more than 3.4 million people, middle-aged and older, for 12 years, all of whom were free of heart disease at the beginning of the study. The researchers reported that among folks who lived alone, those who are dog owners, 11% less likely to die of heart disease, a third less likely to die from any cause. The premise is that when you have a dog, you're, it's more social support for you. It's going to mandate more physical activity because you might be out walking that dog. But I think the most interesting thing was this was a really well done study because dog registration is actually mandated in Sweden. So they found 3.4 million people who had no history of heart disease or cardiovascular events they followed them over 12 years and they looked at all cause mortality so all the reasons they could die heart disease otherwise and they controlled for everything else you could think of that would kind of make a difference like your socioeconomic status your gender your age and they found that nope just owning that dog really made all the difference dogs we know are man's best friend but for one-year-old south carolina dog sunny his BFF is a brick. <laughs> According to Sonny's owner, the brick has been used to prevent the corner of the rug from curling over ever since he was rescued as a puppy, but Sonny prefers to play with the brick, naps with the brick, kisses the brick, and chews the brick. The brick is everything to Sonny. Arvid. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. What's going on? You know, we really don't know what goes through a lot of these dogs' minds as to why they attach to certain things because I know the brick is odd, but trust me, there are other odd things that, you know, dogs are attached to. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, pieces of clothing. I have dogs that, yeah, chew underwear all the time, and they're, they stack pile them under the bed, <laughs> and they guard them, and if you try to go take them, they can become what's called possessive aggression oh. and attack you. Sounds so cool. when you see things like this, actually, you know, when dogs become attached, it can be for a variety of reasons. Size, smell, shape. The fact that the owner put that brick down to keep the carpet down. To that dog, the owner gave that brick to him. And so he's like, oh, this is mine? Why, thank you. Like, yeah. And part of my space and my turf. And exactly. Don't, and don't mess with it. And don't mess with it. And that can become a problem because sometimes, even though it's cute, some of these can lead to obsessive compulsive disorders. And so what you want to do is reteach them that they don't need the brick or whatever object they're attached to. And a lot of times treats are involved with that because you kind of want to reteach them to think that the brick is associated with something negative and not positive. So you can bring something different, introduce it, pet them, yeah, this is, this is good. This is Sonny, a good do you ball. want the brick or do you want or prime the, rib? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you do. And you give them a treat, you praise them, but you don't praise them with the brick. And you kind of want to ease the brick away and slowly get them to where they're not used to having that brick around. As an owner rescues a boxer and soon finds the dog is not gaining any weight and is also experiencing vomiting. After emailing a photo of a cyst found on the dog's abdomen to the vet, they quickly took the dog in and found the culprit on a radiograph. It was a fishing pole! What? My dog ate, what? How is this even possible? If you look there closely at that x-ray, you'll see the yeah, fishing see pole the, the loops in, in the radiograph, Arvid. The only way that this is possible is because it was a boxer and they eat every daggone thing. But the thing <laughs> is, I, have n I had a hard time believing this story. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you look at that x-ray, the fishing pole has actually perforated the stomach and it's all the way down into the pelvic canal. So with it perforating the stomach, you would have to have some leakage of some of that stomach contents in the abdominal cavity, which can cause peritonitis, infection, et cetera. And you'd have to get to this dog really quick in order to save its life. So the fact that they adopted it from a shelter, we know he didn't eat the fishing pole at the shelter. So he had to have this fishing pole in him before he came to the shelter. And then how long did it take for him to get adopted? So it's a little fishy, no pun intended, with the fishing pole. <laughs> but there are some scenarios that that can occur if the fishing pole was just enough tight fit to where nothing was leaking nothing was around leaking. it, where it was ingested, it broke through, and then it just, there, there wasn't... It there wasn't a self sealed very so self sealed like and, a, and or yeah. this dog is just a bionic dog to survive that to get this out not easy either not easy you'd have to go in and you'd probably have to take out some of the stomach in order to just remove that 
so that the dog could survive. But that's very impressive. 